Hey everyone, Codexual here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own Minecraft server. I've already taken the liberty of downloading what we need, but there's two sites that you're going to be visiting, and they will be in the description. So definitely check out that. So first step is, if you don't have Java, download it. Install it. Then after you install it, we're going to go towards our download page, and right here, in that green link, go ahead and click on it and it'll start downloading it. Then we're gonna be grabbing this code here. So you're gonna right click and copy. So as soon as you get your file downloaded, you can make a folder, uh, which I strongly suggest, and it can be on your desktop, it can be on your C drive, wherever you want it to be. And you're gonna grab that file, which you downloaded, and put it in towards your Minecraft server. Uh, and you can name the folder whatever you want as well. Next thing is we're going to right click and go to new, go to text document, and I'm going to call this start.bat. Uh, it can be start Minecraft if you want to be a little bit more descriptive. And go ahead and hit yes. And then this cog icon will appear. Then right click on that, click on edit, go ahead and uh, paste the code that we just copied down and hit save go ahead and close it now we're going to double click on it and a command prompt box will pop up then it'll close out basically it created some files so we're going to have to be agreeing to their terms of service with the eula go ahead and right click on the uh, eula.txt and right here where it says false we're gonna have to put that as true. So that means we're agreeing to the terms of service. And go ahead and hit save. Close that out. And now we can click on start. And now it will actually start running the server. So once this completes, which shouldn't take long, you wanna go ahead and open up your Minecraft game and we'll connect towards it. And now that we have Minecraft open up, what you want to do is go towards multiplayer, direct connect, and you're going to have to be typing in your IP. So since it's running on your local machine, you can type in 127.0.0.1, or you can also type in localhost. Either or. So localhost um, or 1.2 or excuse me, 127.0.0.1. That means it's just, that's the IP or the host name of your local machine. And we're gonna go ahead and hit join. And there you have it, we're in the Minecraft server. So I'm gonna show you a couple more things. So right now we do not have administrator privileges. And to get that, we're gonna go ahead and shrink that down just a little bit, go towards the black console, type in OP, short for operator, then type in your name. It's so my uh, in-game name for Minecraft is Codexual. Go ahead and hit enter. Bring this back up and it says opt Codexual. So we are now admin of the server. And we can change the game mode slash game mode then hit one and now it's in creative mode so i can now fly i can create build stuff and all that fun other things that you want to do so we can just go ahead and grab that down pick it up and start building things so yeah and a couple other things that i want to be uh, talking about as well so We'll go ahead and uh, close out of the Minecraft game. Now, as you can see, it shows join on the local host. You can see everyone's um, the name, then their IP will pop up. So you want your friends to, to join your server, right? Well, basically, you're going to be port forwarding, and a link will 
in the just the link will be in the description down below of how to port forward with most popular manufacturers and routers and manufacturers of the routers just remember when you're port forwarding you want this ip number or excuse me not the ip number but the port number which is 25565 that's the port that you want to forward and again a link for port forwarding will be in the description down below that we'll talk about if you have linksys um netgear and other various manufacturers and one last thing is every time um you reboot your computer you have to always click on the folder here then uh, click on the start. Well, let's just say you just want the server to start automatically every time your uh, computer starts up. Well, that's really simple. Let me go ahead and show you of how to do that. So you want to hit the Windows key on your keyboard and the letter R, or you can hit the Windows icon right here, your start menu, then type in run. Then a box will pop up that will say run let me just grab that and bring it over to the screen and you want to type in shell colon startup so shell colon startup then hit ok or enter and this will appear and all you got to do is right click on the start.bat that we created create shortcut and drag and drop the shortcut in so every time you reset your computer, this will pop up, and that means your Minecraft server is starting up. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, feedback, you know what to do, leave comments down below. I will get back with them. And I'm also on Discord, so do join us on Discord. And if you guys like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the future videos. Take care.